Hello everybody, my name's Tony, and I'm here in the Everyday Counts room once again. And this program is from Everyday Counts here in North Vancouver. So we have an hour together for chair yoga. Make sure that the chair you're on is safe and stable for you, and then you've got a little bit of space around you. And it doesn't matter what you're wearing on your feet, and just make sure that you can root down into the floor underneath you. You can even pick up those toes if you like, spread them nice and wide. You can even pick up the balls of your feet. Feel free to wiggle those toes around a little until you spread them down and place them back down on the earth. You can even wake up the soles of the feet by pushing down through the heels, the balls of the feet and into each toe. You might even feel some of the muscles of the legs starting to activate. From here, sitting down into your seat also, knowing that if you need the back of the chair at any time, you can take it throughout the class or coming forward. Rooting down through that seat, almost settling down the upper body weight into the seat. Feeling those two sit bones underneath you if you wiggle from side to side. And then from the pelvis downwards, getting really connected and rooted downwards. From there, we're lifting up through the spine, all the way up to the base of the skull and the crown of the head reaching upwards. Collarbones are wide and the shoulders are soft and back and down. And any movement you need to take to ease into this, go ahead and do that. When you're ready, we'll take a nice big breath in. Exhale it out, letting all that go. Uh -huh, another couple just like that. Full inhale, exhaling it out. Uh -huh. You can even soften your gaze or close your eyes if you feel like it. And just start to settle in to the next hour of breath and movement. Letting the rest of your week, the rest of your day, soften away into the background so you can start to focus on you. I'll let that breath come back to a natural, easy breath. And then when you're ready, just check in and notice how you're doing today, how you're feeling. Notice if there is one or more particular things on your mind. Notice how your body is feeling today. Noticing places that feel tight or you may notice tension there. But also notice places that feel comfortable, that feel easier, maybe even strong. And then also notice your breath. Easy breath, as easy as you can make it, in and out, that flow of breath. And then when you're ready, starting to deepen the inhale just a little and lengthen the exhale. Maybe starting to breathe in and out through your nose if that's comfortable for you today, but if it's not, no big deal. Imagine with every inhale, you could breathe in clarity. And with every exhale, you could breathe out anything that doesn't serve you, any thoughts, any inner dialogue, any judgments. Breathing away tension. Mm hmm so with every single inhale and exhale, you start feeling more settled, your thoughts, your body, your mind. And from there, steadying out that breath as best as you can. So the inhale and exhale are a little smoother than they were.
-hmm. and then with that steadier breath let go of any forcing allow the breath to get even softer as if it could become a little more effortless but still we have the deeper smoother inhales and longer smoother exhales a little bit more than when we started And those longer, smoother, softer inhales and exhales is what we'll come back to. And I'll keep reminding you, and at any time you find your mind veering off in one direction or another, you can bring it back to this breath. So the more familiar it becomes to you, the easier it will be to come back to. Rooting down through your feet in your seat, lifting up from there. And collarbones soft and wide and those shoulders soft and heavy and then at the very tip of your nose we're going to start creating circles allow the breath to be your guide so the inhale lifts the exhale draws down allow those movements to draw up on the inhale down on the exhale and just like your breath, smoothing and steadying that movement as best as you can. Bigger or smaller, your choice. And then at the end of the next exhale, or when you're ready, we'll go around in the opposite direction. Mm-hmm. Smoothing and steadying, easing it. As big or as small as you like, pause whenever you need to. And then we'll come back to center when you're ready. Any movement you need at any time to ease things out, go ahead and do that. Our right hand comes down and we'll start to circle with the right shoulder. Inhaling, lifting up, exhaling, drawing down. Mm -hmm. Notice the parts of those circles that feel more challenging than others and see if you can do anything to ease the movement a little more, even if it means making that movement a little smaller. And then we'll go around in the opposite direction when you're ready. Mm -hmm. Notice where you feel this. Keep the breath, that beautiful, steady breath, as steady as you can make it. Mm -hmm. From here, we're going to take that um, hand down and back in the opposite direction. Noticing how this feels, noticing where you feel it. Noticing if the rest of your body wants to move with you and see if you can isolate into that right shoulder. And from there, coming back to center. Right arm comes up in a cactus, palm towards the screen or palm on or towards that right shoulder, your choice. Elbow can be down or up depending on how it feels in your shoulder. And we're widening through the collarbones here and that elbow is an extension of those collarbones. And then we'll start to circle. Keeping the upper body steady and still to start with. And just like when we circled the shoulder and the nose, keeping that steady breath, Maybe making those circles a little bigger, a little smaller, your choice. There's no right and wrong here. We're working with our bodies, not against them. So if there's something that doesn't feel right to you, adjust or adapt the movement for you. And whichever direction you're going in, you're welcome to start to 
bring in the upper body. Allowing that movement steady and smooth. Mm -hmm. Taking the gaze with that elbow if you like. Put another three here. Pelvis is rooted, feet are rooted. Notice which direction you're going in. Pause and then we'll go around in the opposite direction. Torso is still once more. Notice how this feels. You can always take a break in between each one. Do every other circle. As long as the breath is steady and your body's feeling comfortable. As big or as small a movement as you like. And then the add-on is keeping the pelvis rooted and then taking your gaze round with that elbow. And again, noticing just out of a curiosity rather than a judgment, what is happening? Where are you feeling it? Mm -hmm. One last movement. And when you're ready, coming back to center, that right hand will come down as if you've got a big mason jar there and we'll open and close it from the shoulder joint, not just from the wrist. Mm -hmm. Easing any tension there. Nice. Right hand comes back to support and that left hand comes down, allowing those shoulders to be soft and heavy. Rooting to rise, same breath, and we're circling with the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Allow this movement to be easy, meaning that you adjust it for your body. As big or as small as you like, resting if that's preferable. And then we'll go around in the opposite direction when you're ready. Once again, noticing where you feel this. Steady breath. Another few here in this direction. Just being curious with your body. And at the end of that next exhale, we'll pause and that left hand comes up in a cactus, palm towards me, on or towards that left shoulder. Elbow can be down or up, your choice. Collarbones are wide and wherever it is, that elbow is kind of an extension of the collarbone, even whether it's down. And then we circle. Keep it small to start with. Our torso is stable and steady. And we're really isolating through the range of motion in that left shoulder. Notice if there's any snap, crackle and pops in there. Notice which part of that circle feels easier than others. Mm -hmm. You can keep this, so start to keep that movement and draw from the spine, round in circles, the gaze can come with you, depending on how that feels in your neck. One more, and we come back to center. And then we'll go around in the opposite direction, torso still and stable to start with. working with your breath. If you're holding your breath, come back to stillness, work on the breath and then add the movement. Bigger or smaller movements, resting if you need to. And then from there, possible add-on is to move through the spine, keeping the hips heavy to the seat. So the pelvis is really rooted. So we get that twist from the spine only. Another two here, you can always rest. And then at the end of the exhale, we're coming back to center. That left hand comes down. And as if we've got a big mason jaw there, opening and closing, noticing where you feel that. Mm -hmm. And then from here, coming back, 
to our seat. If you can come forward on your chair to have a little bit of space as we come into seated cat and cow, go ahead and do that. Hands on the thighs. On an inhale, we're drawing the hands back, opening up the chest. I'm gonna to come to the side so you can see me. And on the exhale, we're rounding, pushing the back ribs towards the back of the chair. Inhaling and exhaling. As much or as little as feels good for you, and one does not have to be bigger than the other, or it doesn't have to be equal. If you want to add on the inhale, lifts the chin, the exhale draws it down, and that'll get into the cervical spine, the top of the shoulders, the upper back. And then the add on here is the pelvic tilts. So on the inhale, we're sending the tailbone out behind us. And on the exhale, tucking the tail, sitting onto the back of the pelvis any amount. So notice what feels good to you here. Steady, smooth breaths. Mm -hmm. If you want to add on with the arms, on the inhale, we'll take those arms up any heights. Those arms can be out to soften the shoulders or in, depending on what feels comfortable for you. And on that exhale, as we round down, the hands come down, even behind the hips. So keeping the joints easy, noticing how this feels in your body. And if this takes away from the spinal movement, bring the hands back to the thighs and just focus on flexing and extending your spine. Another two here in your own time. Mm -hmm. And at the end of that next exhale, we're coming all the way back to center. Rearranging anything you need to. And I'm going to take that right hand up behind the skull. So as if you're cupping the back of your occipital lobe, that kind of lumpy bit at the base of the skull. And then we're going to inhale that elbow out and exhale it forward. And allow your hand to be at a place where the elbow can move freely. Mm -hmm. Staying here or on that inhale, opening up, left hip draws back, exhale, we're turning over towards the left. Inhaling over to the right, exhaling to the left. And that left hand can stay on support, can dangle next to you if that feels easier. Getting that thoracic rotation here, taking the gaze over to the left, maybe even over that left shoulder if that feels comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. And that right hip is tucked back. One more. Coming back to center and taking that right hand down. Any softness you need, go ahead. Coming to the other side, so that right, uh, left hand now cupping behind the left side of the back of the skull, opening out through the collarbones and that left elbow coming out too. And you might feel this one is very different from the other side. That's the inhale, on the exhale, the elbow comes forward. Inhaling and exhaling, just easing into that movement. And this is a great place to stay, with the torso facing forward. If you want to add on, keeping that um, right hip and left hip in one place as if your um, hip tips are facing forward, always like car headlights. On an inhale, we're widening, right hip draws back. And on the exhale, we're coming over towards the right, getting that thoracic rotation. Right hand can be anywhere that it's comfortable for you. And you might notice that this side is a little more challenging or a little more easier than the other side. So you can see if you can stay away from judgment and just be curious. Got another three on this side, always resting if you need to. coming all the way back to center 
Any softness you need in those shoulders, go ahead and do that. And then from here, we're gonna take those hands down next to us, rolling the shoulders back, and maybe considering the shoulders coming over the hips, depending on how it is that you're seated. And that may mean that you come forward or back. Back of the head draws back, chin in, tucked in a little, as if we're resting on the back of a wall. This is the inhale, keeping those joints nice and soft and heavy. On the exhale, that right hand comes down a little further, inhaling up, exhaling all the way to the other side. So we're tick-tocking backwards and forwards, but it is a controlled movement. With this movement, now what I want you to consider, if you come to one side, if that opposite hip is feeling a little lighter, root it down, even if it means that you're not going quite so far. And then we really get into the lateral movements of the spine. If we pick up one of the hips to get down a little further, then we're actually moving in through the pelvis and the hips rather than getting that motion just in the spine. Mm -hmm. And when you're ready, coming all the way back up to center. Hands on the thighs and we're gonna take those feet out a little wider, your comfortable distance for you. Rooting down to rise up, come back to that steady breath. And then with the hands supporting you on the thighs, we're gonna to start to roll through the ribs. So the inhale coming forward, the exhale, we're coming back. And once again, this is a controlled movement. Allow one circle for one cycle of breath. Feel free to close your eyes here and allow yourself to change the movement so it suits your body. You can get your head, your shoulders, your hips, your neck involved, anything that feels right. There's no right and wrong here for this movement. Steady, smooth breath. And then we're gonna go around in the opposite direction when you're ready. Steady and smooth. Mm -hmm. Noticing the places that feel challenging. Keeping the breath going. Allowing the breath to guide the movement. One more here. And then we're coming all the way back to center. And if you need to sit more um, forward or back on your chair, depending on your support that you need, then go ahead and do that at any time. Steady and smooth, and we're rooting to rise. Coming into internal and external hip rotation here. So lifting up through that right um, ball of the foot, if you like, or you can keep the foot on the floor. Hand to the right knee, and the left leg is your foundation. So we're rooting through the left leg and the right heel or the ball of the foot, depending on what, um, what's more comfortable for you, rising from there. Steady breath. On the inhale, we're drawing that knee out to the side and on an exhale, we're lowering that knee in, internal rotation. External and internal with your breath. And you can manually move that leg or not, your choice. Notice if the rest of your body is coming along for the journey and see if you can simply isolate into that right hip as we go through all the joints, trying to find that range of motion in there. And we want it easy. So we want the breath to be easy and we want the movement to be as easy as possible, as fluid as we can make it. it doesn't have to be perfect. We're not interested in perfect. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
coming back to center when you're ready. And then we're gonna take that right foot down, make any adjustments that you need to. Right foot is now your foundation, rooting to rise. Left foot can stay on the floor or you're coming up onto the heel. If the foot's on the floor, you're just simply rolling to the inside and outer blade of that foot. Make sure that the foot is at the right angle for you. On the inhale, we're widening and on the exhale, we're drawing in. Notice where it is you're feeling this. Notice if your body is coming along for the journey and see if you can simply isolate into that left hip. Steady breath, always the breath is guiding the movement. If you come to a movement and you find yourself holding the breath, then there's a really good chance you're trying to protect yourself. So it means you're probably going a little too far. So we always stay where the breath is fluid, even if it means that we do less. Yoga isn't about more is better. Mm-hmm. Another two here, you can always rest whenever you need to, of course. Coming all the way back, and then we're taking those, that um, heel, uh, the ball of the foot down, any adjustments you need to make, then go ahead. And just from here, hands on the thighs, and I'm gonna turn a little bit to the side so you can see me. So long spine, rooting, two rise. This is the inhale, using your hands for support. We're just coming forward on, and inhale all the way back up. Exhaling forward, inhaling back up. Noticing what's happening in those ribs and see if you're extending the spine when you come forward and see if you can keep it in one line. If you need the help of the support of your hands, then keep them there. If you can hover and keep the same movement, then you could check that out. If you want to add on, elbows come in towards the waist. This is the inhale on the exhale. You're offering a box out in front of you. Thumbs to the sky, keeping those shoulder blades wide. All this is doing, extending the arms, is adding weight to your lower back and the trans abdominals that kind of wrap like a corset around the um, lower belly. Strengthening those. And you can think about this as when you're reaching for something at home, we want to keep that back nice and straight. Mm -hmm. Option to pulse, option next time those hands come out to stay. And we're here for three breaths. Inhaling and exhaling, still rooting to rise up. So there's still a length all the way up through the crown of the head. Steady, smooth breaths, beautifully done. And then on your next inhale, we're coming all the way up. Hands come down. Fingertips come to the inside of the thighs. I'm gonna get into some shoulder dips here. So any adjustments you need to make on your chair as we're coming forward and off to the side, make sure you're stable. Rooting to rise, steady breath. This is the inhale. On the exhale, we're dipping that right shoulder down and push into the right hand and we're glancing to the right. Inhaling up, exhaling, dipping. Mm -hmm. And notice where you're feeling that lengthening, maybe building some strength, maybe as the shoulder comes down, lightening those hands on your thighs. Mm -hmm. And if you want to add on, that right hand can come over as we're starting to build some strength. Glancing over that left shoulder to add that rotation. You've got another two. Mm -hmm. Nicely done, and we're coming all the way back. Big breath in, exhale it out, and we're coming to the other side. This is the inhale on the exhale, left shoulder dips, and we're glancing over to the right side. And this might feel good, 
And if it doesn't, adjust the movement so it's working with your body. Mm -hmm. Option to take that left hand over towards the right to start to build strength. As much or as little as feels good for you. Another two. Mm -hmm. Coming all the way back to center. Any movement you need in your body, go ahead. And from here, we're going to start to strengthen a little by taking some marching. So on the inhale, we're going to lift up through the right heel, exhale down. Inhale, left heel, exhale down. And keeping the movement slow and steady. And this is a great place to stay. If you want to add on, bring a little momentum into it. You can let, just keep those steady breaths and go from side to side in your own time. Mm -hmm. Option to stay here. Option to start to lift up through one foot and then the other. And if you need to adjust your stance to do that, then go ahead. Either slow with your breath or naturally your own rhythm. And where we're going to go from here is you can stay wherever you are or we're going to take it in, in, out, out. Mm -hmm. If you want to add the arms, cactus, cactus, in, in. Elbows can come towards each other, palms can rest. Nicely done. Just getting some ease through the joints. Once again, depending on your movement, see if you can keep it as controlled and as steady as possible. Next time we come in, we stay. Allow those hands to dangle down. Any movements you need and the feet come back to center. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Uh -huh. And then from there, we're going to start to take some um, diagonal movements. So, coming back or forward on your chair, depending on the support that you need, you can start to lift and lower one heel and then the other. Let's start on the right, inhaling up, exhaling down. You can stay here or using that left foot for support, inhaling out, exhaling in. We've already been here with the marching. That left foot is now your foundation. Making sure, take a look down at that left knee and see as you're bringing the right leg in and out, if that's wavering and keep it steady. Upper body, steady and still. If you want to add the arm, as we come out with the right leg, the left arm is going to come up. On an exhale, we're bringing it in, elbow in towards the waist. Inhale, exhale. Great place to be. I'm just going to move my water bottle here. If you want to add on, reaching out a little further. Inhale, exhale. Mm -hmm. If you want to add on more, this is the inhale, exhale, knee and elbow come towards each other. Might never get there, but through the midline of the body. Inhale, exhale. Adding on with the extension and flexion of the spine. So on an inhale, as we're stretching, chest comes up and we're 
Um, we've got that extension in the spine, even the back of the skull can come back. And on an exhale, as the knee and elbow come in towards each other, we can tuck the tail round, you can draw the chin in. So you got a whole lot more, um, you have a whole lot of So, you have a whole lot of choices there, and we're gonna keep going. Inhale, exhale. Steady and smooth breaths. Take breaks when you need to. We have another three. Notice where it is that you're feeling this. Last one. And the foot comes down to center. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. <sighs> Nicely done. And then from here, we're rooting down through the right foot. Same thing, other side. Inhale the left heel up. Exhale down. Great place to stay. And you can, of course, always manually move your leg. If you're adding on, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Doesn't have to be out very far. We all have different ranges of motion. Hips are facing forward and my hip is not twisting over towards the left. Adding on with the arm, inhale, exhale, elbow in towards waist, inhale, Exhale. Steady breath. You know where we're going because we did it on the other side. So adding on, we're reaching a little more. Keeping the foot on the floor. Nice. Notice that right leg, and I noticed um, from mine, it was starting to sway out towards the side when I took that inhale. So keeping that steady, option to add on. Inhale, exhale, knee in towards elbow. It doesn't have to meet, but it's, if they are, they're coming towards the midline of the body, as if they could meet around about your lower ribs. Excellent place to stay, or we add the extension of the spine as the heart comes up. Exhale, curling the belly in towards the spine, chin can come down. Inhale, exhale. So you've got a whole lot of choices there. What is it that works with your body keeping that steady breath? Nicely done. Two more. And then we're coming all the way back to center. Any movements you want to take in your um, body, go ahead. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Nicely done. And then from there, we're going to come down to the floor and then I'll meet you there. So now we're on the floor, we're coming all the way down onto our back. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor in bridge pose. If you need any softness underneath your, your head or neck, go ahead and take that. Even any softness under the back, depending on sensitivity and the hardness of what's underneath you. Feet are around about a hip distance. And you can pick up your pelvis and lengthen your lower back along the floor if you like. Hands come to the crests of the hips. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. On an inhale, as if someone just picks up your belly button and we're extending the spine. On the exhale, belly button presses down onto the mat and there's a pelvic tilt. So on an inhale, it's an anterior tilt as the belly lifts and on an exhale, as the belly draws down, you might notice a tucking of the tail, posterior tilt. So going backwards and forwards. And once again, we're not really concerned about the size of the movement, 
but we want the smoothness of the breath to guide the steadiness of the movement. Inhaling and exhaling. And notice which muscles are lighting up here. Are you using your legs or are you using your glute muscles? We really want to start engaging through the glute muscles. A lot of the time here, hamstrings take over, so if you're feeling it a lot in the back of the legs, that could be what's happening. Inhaling and exhaling. Nicely done. Excellent place to stay, just creating those um, beautiful um, movements between the pelvic tilts. If you want to add on robot arms, arms can be down at the side of your hips or cactus or T, your choice. Draw the shoulder blades softly towards each other so there's a lightening and a lifting of the chest. If you're adding on, the inhale draws the belly up. On an exhale, we're sending the belly down, lifting up the hips, push into your feet, and we lift the hips a little. Peeling up the spine one vertebrae at a time. And then we're rolling back down. Inhale, the top of the inhale, the belly lifts. Exhale, curling, lifting, and the inhale coming down. And if the breath pattern is different for you, no big deal. Working with your breath pattern the easiest way, your breathing. And again, we're not worried about how high those hips come. Mm -hmm. And just to get the glutes really engaged here, we're going to come back to a neutral spine. And we're going to draw in that right knee. Give it a little hug. You can just circle through the ankle, seeing as the ankle is right there. Then we'll go around in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. And then we'll flex into that ankle and give that knee a little bit of a hug. Nice. Keeping that movement, we're going to take the hands down. Maybe down by the hips again, a T or a cactus if you prefer. From here, we're going to lift up through the ball of the left foot. So you're right on the heel there. On an inhale, pushing into the heel, we're going to lift up those hips to hover off the floor, exhaling them down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Now I want you to notice as you're coming up, if the majority of the work is through the back hamstring on the left side, and if it is, we need to just take your hands and tap into that right glute. Mm -hmm. Left glute, sorry. Nice. And then with that heel lifted, we're inhaling once more, hovering, exhaling down. Inhaling and exhaling. And if that's comfortable for you, pulsing for the next three or lifting and staying. Breathing, steady and smooth. The hips are just hovered off the floor. Exhaling all the way down and draw that left knee in too. Give yourself a little hug, rock from side to side. You're going to do the same thing, other side. Right foot comes down, left knee draws in. Give it a little hug and circle through that ankle. One direction and then back in the other direction. Keeping that left leg in, I'm going to take the hands down, flex the right foot so you're onto the heel, steady and smooth breath, pushing into the heel on an inhale, we're lifting up through the hips, exhaling down, noticing where it is that the muscles are engaging, and if it is in the back of the hamstring, tap into the right glute a little to wake up your Neuro connectors down into the glute muscles and then lift. Inhaling up, exhaling down. 
option to pulse, for the next three, option to come up and hold. Building strength and stability. One last breath here, and on that exhale, we're coming all the way down. Give those knees a little hug. You can rock and roll from side to side. Left foot comes down. Once again, you can hug in through that right knee, and then we let the hands go. This is the exhale on the inhale, ascending that right foot up towards the sky. Flexed foot pushing through the heel. Doesn't have to come straight. Exhaling down, inhaling and exhaling. Keeping the movement, once again, as fluid as you can make it. If you want to add on, we lift up and we stay pushing through the heel. And if you want to circle through the ankle just to wake that up a little bit, you can do that. Rooting through the back body all the way down through that left foot. This is now the inhale. Exhale, we're going to slide that right foot down, pushing through the heel until it meets the trajectory of your left thigh. Inhaling up, exhaling down. So that's about 45 degrees-ish. Excellent place to stay. Back body is stable. If you want to add on, that heel can come all the way down to the floor. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down to the floor to hover, I should say. And this is a whole lot going on here, keeping that um, stability through the center line of the body, keeping the breath fluid. This feels comfortable to you. Then option is to draw in that left knee, inhaling and exhaling, and still that right leg is hinging up and down from the hip, keeping that left foot flexed and the right foot option to stay here, lifting and lowering. Option, next time that heel hovers off the floor, we stay. Any head and neck issues, this is where you're staying. Otherwise, hovering, drawing the belly in and breathing. And if this is already challenging, then this is where you stay. Keeping your hand on the front of that um, left shin or behind the knee or on the thigh. This is the inhale and the exhale. We're curling the knee and the nose towards each other. So the back of the head lifts, back of the shoulder blades. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curling. Use the whole breath, that whole exhale to curl up. And inhale to lengthen. Excellent place to stay, pulsing. If you want to add on, nose comes towards the knee, not that it might meet there in this lifetime, staying, holding on to that left leg. Last option is to release the hands as if they could root down towards your right heel, staying in that curled position, breathing three breaths. Last one here, and on that inhale, next inhale, the head comes down, and then allow that right leg to come down here. Right hand takes the outer left knee, left arm comes out in a cactus, and we're taking that knee all the way out to one side. You can prop that knee, that shin under support if you like, and the gaze, if that right shoulder is down, comes to the other side too. Some steady, slow breaths here. Playing with how high or how low that knee comes, deciding on where that feels good in your body. You can pulse in and out, up and down. What can you let go of here? Where are you holding tension where you could possibly find ease? And when you're ready, you can stay here for as long as you like, or the gaze comes up, the 
Left knee comes up and we're drawing both knees in, giving it a little hug. Rock and roll from side to side. And then we're taking that left foot down on the floor, right foot comes to meet it. Any adjustments you need to make for yourself here, you can go ahead and do that. Left knee draws in, give it a little hug. Nice flex in that foot. Steady breath. You can stay here if this feels good or bring the hands down to where it's comfortable. This is the exhale. Inhale, we're extending up the left leg and drawing it down on an exhale. So flexing and extending. Noticing how that feels. That leg does not have to come anywhere near straight to your choice. What, again, is working with your body and not against it? Next time it comes up, option to stay or keep pulsing. You can circle the ankle here just because it might feel good. Ease into those movements. And then we keep a flex in that left ankle. This is the inhale, exhale, we're taking it down to about a 45 degree angle, down to the right thigh, inhaling up. And again, that leg does not have to be straight. This is a great place to stay right here. If you're adding on, that left heel can come down to the floor, hovering, keeping the pelvis as neutral as possible here. So notice if one side of the pelvis starts to get a little lighter than the other at some point, if the belly or the ribs start popping up, and stay at a place where you can feel stable. Mm -hmm. Option to pulse here, keeping that awareness in the stability or draw down that left heel so it's hovering and you can stay here. Option to stay, option to draw that right knee in, give it a little hug, flexing through both feet. And if this is too much here, bring that right foot all the way down. We want the steady smoothness of the breath. And if this is enough here and it's challenging, then stay here. If you want to add on, drawing the belly down and towards the mat so we've got that stability through, especially the lower body, the pelvis. This is the inhale. On the exhale, if you're adding on, draw the nose up towards the knee, keeping the lower body as it is. Inhaling long. So exhaling, you're getting that drawing in, drawing the belly down and towards the mat. Head, maybe the shoulders are coming off the floor. Any head and neck issues, this is not where you're going. Pulsing here or adding on, drawing the nose in towards the knee and we're staying. Staying here, steady breath. And if it's there for you, release the hands. Fingertips come either side of your hip reaching towards that end of the mat and we're breathing steady and smooth three breaths always rest if you need to staying for the last exhale and then on that inhale holding on to the right shin and we're coming all the way down draw that left knee in give yourself a little hug Left leg goes long, all the way down to the floor. Right arm in a T or a cactus. And then we're bringing that right knee across, keeping that right shoulder down and the gaze is over that right shoulder. And you can pulse with that right knee any height you want. You can rest it on support if you want, getting that Length that you need. Notice where you're feeling it. Send the breath to any areas that feel tight. And you can stay here for as long as you like, making this your own.
Mm-hmm. And then when you're ready, gaze comes to center, knee comes to center to you. Any adjustments you need with your hips, go ahead. Any lost movements that you want to go ahead, maybe rock and roll a bit with your knees drawn in, maybe some happy baby, anything at all that feels good to you for the next few breaths. And then when you're ready, coming down into your relaxation. So feet can be wide near the edges of the mat, knees bent, knees in towards each other. You can take um, a starfish here if you need any support underneath the back of your knees or thighs underneath your head. If you need a blanket, an eye pillow, go ahead and take that now. And as you're starting to rest into your shavasana, your relaxation, I'm going to come to seated. And this is really your time to offer yourself some relaxation. And a lot of the time, that feels like it's self-indulgent. But this is quite honestly the, one of the most important parts of our practice. This is the integration where we start to let go of everything. And that starts to get integrated. Everything we've done for the last hour gets integrated in a cellular level, allowing us to create muscle memory, to create connections to the awareness that we've been building through our practice. And most importantly, this is the time that we allow our central nervous system to relax. So the more support you have underneath your body, the easier it is for your central nervous system to let go. Settling into your stillness, whatever that may be for you. And when you're ready, take a long, luxurious breath in. And exhale that out slow and steady. You can take three more of those or take a big breath in, hold at the top, relax the muscles of your body and take another big breath in. Once again, holding at the top, relaxing and releasing the muscles. Take a last sip of breath in until you're very full. And at the end of the exhale, let that go. And that's the release of all the breath. Allowing your body to rest into the support underneath you. Imagine your bones getting heavier, your joints feeling easier. Releasing as much tension as possible as your muscles start to loosen and soften. Letting go of the muscles in your face, especially those tiny muscles around your eyes and eyebrows. Imagine your eyes floating in water. And allowing the mental chatter to soothe as well. Thoughts arise, 
allow them to come up and then watch them as they float away like fluffy clouds in a blue sky. And if you wish to stay here longer, then tune my voice out. If you wish to finish your practice, start to just become aware of where you're resting in the space you're in. deepening and lengthening your breath in your own time and way. And in your own organic way, coming to a place where you would like to finish your practice over the next few breaths. Being generous with yourself and your body, allowing those movements to be soft, to be easy. Bringing your hands into a gesture of closing, whatever that may be for you. Bringing into your awareness one thing, one thing this week that you're grateful for. And taking a breath of gratitude for whatever that is. Bringing into your awareness one person that you're grateful for. And the contact that you have had with them in this lifetime. And take a big breath of gratitude for that wonderful person. And then take a big breath in, exhale, chin down towards your chest. And offer yourself some thanks here for moving and breathing today. Thank you for joining me from my heart to yours. Namaste.